Number 1. Tower Bridge Tower Bridge crosses the River Thames and was built at the end of 19th century. You can take a boat ride that goes under the Tower Bridge for full experience. Don't miss the two very important attractions nearby. The historic castle Tower of London from 11th century and the remaining of the Roman wall that was probably built in the 3rd century. Number 2. Camden Town This former industrial economic base has been replaced by service industries such as retail, tourism and entertainment. The area now hosts street markets and music venues which are strongly associated with alternative culture. Don't forget to visit an amazing Camden Market and Cyberdog store with futuristic fashion, club wear, rave clothes and live dancers inside the shop. Number 3. Museums London is full of amazing museums and most of them are free. You can start with the British Museum that is dedicated to human history, art and culture. Don't miss the Natural History Museum that exhibits a vast range of specimens from various segments of natural history. Just around the corner there is Science Museum, a great place to see, touch and experience science firsthand. You can check in the description box where we added the link to all three museums in London. Number 4. Big Ben and the Palace of Westminster This British cultural icon was completed in 1859 and it lays at the north end of the Palace of Westminster, which is the seat of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. The official name of the tower in which Big Ben is located was originally the Clock Tower, but it was renamed as Elizabeth Tower in 2012. Unfortunately, Big Ben is being renovated and will not be completed for a couple more years. A few steps away is also an impressive Gothic church, Westminster Abbey. Number 5. London Eye The London Eye is a giant ferris wheel on the south bank of the River Thames, overlooking Big Ben and Westminster. When it opened to the public in the year 2000, it was the world's tallest ferris wheel. The structure is 135 meters tall and the wheel has a diameter of 120 meters. Number 6. Little Venice Little Venice is a neighborhood centered on an area of decorative houseboats and a partly tree-lined, three-way junction of canals. Little Venice is one of London's prime residential areas and contains restaurants, shops, theatres and pubs. Definitely a refreshing sight and something you do not expect to see in London. Number 7. Hyde Park Hyde Park is London's main park. It offers both world-class events and concerts together with plenty of quiet places to relax. In 2004, there was an opening of the Fountains in memory of Diana, Princess of Wales. Number 8. Piccadilly Circus Piccadilly Circus is a road junction and a public space of London's West End in the city of Westminster. It was built in 1819 to connect Regent Street with Piccadilly. It was named after a house belonging to a tailor famous for selling Piccadilly's or Piccadillys, a term used for various kinds of colors. The circus is particularly known for its video display and neon signs mounted on the corner of the building. We suggest to also visit it by night. Number 9. Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace is the most iconic royal building in the country. It is the London residence of Her Majesty the Queen and is one of only a few working royal palaces left in the world. Don't miss the iconic ceremony changing the guard also known as guard mounting carried out by soldiers on active duty from the foot guards who have guarded the sovereign and the royal palaces since 1660. Check the description box for the link to the updated guard mounting timetable. Number 10. Herods Harrods is a luxury department store now owned by the state of Qatar. 
the store occupies a 20,000 square meter site and has 330 departments covering 90,000 square meters of retail space. And here is a bonus that we promised, Canary Wharf. If you have an extra few hours to spare, visit Canary Wharf on the Isle of Docks, the Manhattan of London. It is a commercial district in East London and contains many of Europe's tallest buildings, including the second tallest building in the UK, One Canada Square. Of course, there are tons of other things to see and do in London and it all depends on the sites you want to visit and how many days you'll spend in this amazing city.